good friends. Hello everybody. Talk and Tokes number 66060 of these. Wow. I know I said that three times. But I'm just kind of amazed, you know. Like my Weedy Weekend, the next one will be 64. So I re I've got over 800 videos online, my friends. So, it, you know, just go to my playlists or go to my regular videos and just search under anything a strain name uh, a condition maybe you'll find the video you're looking for so often people say would you do a video on this and i say <laughs> check my videos it's already done but i should do more i should do more anyways what a absolutely gorgeous day it is still a little bit it's not overly hot yet people waving as they drive by. I love these kind of days and uh, it's quiet. I have nothing to do. I was to talk to Pasha this morning but he wasn't online. That's okay. I talked to his mother. Everything's fine. It's just a really nice day and it's the first time that my anxiety has been this low in a very long time. So I thought I'd start talking to sitting out on the front stoop with you, but I'm on my way for my morning walk. And what a better, what a better time than now to have you guys with me and go on this walk. But there are people there, I'll wait until they... See, she's walking away, but they're going in the house now, so I can probably do it. I'll keep going. I gotta get used to people seeing me do this. I gotta quit being so shy. And I want a good walk. I want a good, quiet day. I've had, this has been a busy week dealing with uh, cancer tests and anxiety, uh, feeling feeling difficult because of things like that and you know that's normal I share that with y'all but I want to share the really good times with y'all mostly like last night if you checked talking tokes 50 59 out it's posting any minute now and again that's in the past <laughs> uh, if you check it out I took you all to I took you all to the swamp and I took you all to the hippie bank overlooking the city and showed you a really nice sunset. I like doing that. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope we can do more of that. I may go there later today. Depends what this day turns out like. If it gets too hot, walks are easier when it's not so hot. Last night even walking home was just a bundle of sweat, even at 10 at night walking home. And it was still 26 degrees, it was hot. And although a fibromyalgic does better with the heat than with the cold, medium temperatures are best, thank you. <laughs> I am trying to give you view of everything of where we're going and have this a little longer than usual hi mom i've shared that with you it's a way to touch base with my dearly departed mother what a gorgeous gorgeous day i don't have much more to share i do like coming here i like coming to the railway i wish there was a train coming Yes, it's CN, and I, my whole family has been with CP Rail, Canadian Pacific, CPR, not CNR. So, I always grew up that CNR was the enemy. Now, I'm older and I realize it's all corporate bullshit. Nobody's the enemy, except our government. And to all of you, if you're watching this, do you think I should have a second channel? Should I have a second channel where I actually talk about politics and my... If you, Those of you who follow me in Google know that I, I have a strong... I, I have a community about truthing and, and things like that. 
I have a strong presence in Google as a ranter. And I don't know if that should come into Google, into YouTube. It certainly shouldn't be part of this hippie channel. So should this be called the Hurtin' Hippie? Or Hurtin' Hippie? It's time for change. It's just not time for big change. So I'd love some input. Nothing happens overnight. Peace and cheers, love and harmony, and Talk and Talk 60 may be a two-day thing. We'll end it with Friday tomorrow, and then, but of course, Friday yesterday, if you're watching this when it goes up. <laughs> I love playing with my brain like that. So, peace and cheers, love, and special harmony. I had to use this uh, filter. Why? Because of these freaky, wonderful, gorgeous clouds all around me. I love how this filter attacks the clouds. So, and where are we? Yeah, we haven't been there for a while. Behind the stone trees, and look at the one in the middle. Boy, it's, uh, it's had a bit, but I've been sitting here for a while. Sharing with them. I have some SFVOG rosin. I made the rosin. The flower came from MMJ Total Healthcare. And I'm on my way just walking the neighborhood. I may make it to the swamp. I don't know. I just, even though my back maybe won't take it, and that's why I'm taking a lot of breaks, I found this to be a boring day to sit at home. I don't have any more shows to marathon. And it's gorgeous out. Why, why not take advantage when it's not too hot to walk so maybe I'll be back with you after the stone trees maybe I'll get back to you at the swamp so or at Birch's Bank we'll see you at yeah Hippie Bank although I kind of like Birch's Bank that sounds cool too you know so uh, yeah my shirt Calgary sucks. <laughs> My kids who were born and raised in Edmonton bought me that and they always buy me stuff like that because Edmonton rules and Calgary rules according to them and you know I'm, I'm learning to love Calgary. I love both cities. So after that, that might stir some comments. Comments below, please. Please, one comment. Two, two wonderful comments. Anyways, that was horrible. Peace and cheers, love and harmony. And here we are. I think uh, I'm gonna call this Stoner's Swamp because that's what I'm gonna do here. You know, I keep coming here sometimes with my son, sometimes by myself. I'm not gonna show any people or do my best not to. Uh, but I've been coming here now four or five days and I'm loving it. You know, sure, it's full of kids and people, and but you can still get a little bit of privacy. Cheers. And right before a big storm, I can enjoy this really nice, hot, but not overly hot weather. I think it's 22, 23. Still a little over hot for me. Let's, uh, Zoom in on our little ducks there. They always live down by this side of it. I do like them. Dragonflies up close. You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Pinch that out. Let you see it all. It's just gorgeous out here. Lots of dragonflies, and thanks to that, no mosquitoes. And oh, on this side, see, there's another little spot there. Gordy and I walk. There's water that feeds it from up above. And I believe this is all man-made, but who cares? The, the ducks of this pair of ducks live here. They for sure live here because I've been here for five days. They live right in this corner. And somewhere here, they probably even have a nest at night or something. When we were here last night, they were just cuddled up on the shore. And... I will say goodbye. Maybe I'll bring some more tonight or something, but I'm going to relax here for a bit and head home.
I may get home before some rain. It's hard to say. You never know in this city, but if it rained right now, I'd take my hat off and just enjoy it. Peace and cheers. Hello and harmony. Hey, y'all. I found a new land of the crows. I'm going to keep it in front of me. There's one in that tree. And you can hear them all in that tree. And they're angry. <laughs> uh, and in that tree and see that one's flying closer to there they're probably teaching one to fly see they're gonna keep swooping at me there's three up there that one there freaking crows I love them but wow funny isn't it it's up there and it's yelling at me it doesn't want me here. So, anyways, peace and cheers. Love and harmony. Uh, where's the stop? I survived the land of the crows. One did swoop right at my head. They are very protective over their young. So, usually, yeah, I'd suggest if you hear them crowing like crazy in a certain area, walk around that area. I, I do it for effect. <laughs> and, and for the for the joie de vivre joie de vivre for the joie de vivre and speaking of joie de vivre today is one of those days full of love of life joie de vivre and you know i've been uh, i've been watching a show where one guy who talked about his struggles and he says carpe the beep out of that diem and i I was so glad I heard that because, you know, when I was a teenager, Carpe Diem was sort of my my model, kind of like motto, kind of like YOLO now, but no, it, it didn't mean the same to a degree. But Carpe Diem sees life, sees life, and oh, there's people, so I'm going to say goodbye because I don't record when there's people around, but I want, I want to talk more about that. Let's carpe that diem. Let's seize that day every day. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony.